Hello, everyone. Welcome back to an unofficially reviewed episode of Unofficially Opinionated. I'm Christian. This is Nate. Yes. And today we're talking about Heartstopper Season 2. Season 2. So we did a review of Season 1. We did a live reaction of Season 2, Episode 1. So this is our review of the full Season 2. Nate is our resident Heartstopper Stan. He uh, watched Season 1 how many times, Nate? Season, oh, I do not know, like innumerable 30, times, 30, maybe 40 <laughs> times. It was bad because it's such a comfort show. I, I think that's how I, I labeled it. It's a comfort show. Like when I want to go, like when Liam's gone and uh, I just kind of want noise while I'm like sleeping or just in the background, I will put it on because yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> My wife watches the nanny. She watches that just all the, it's yep. just that's her that's her comfort show nate yeah. it's hard stopper so yes, i i have watched the show i'm not a stan i enjoyed it but you know as far as the details go nate is the person <laughs> so uh well, for season one i've only watched it the once for season two so far oh only once only once yeah so far but see this so season far. two i mean you know we're getting into it uh spoilers also so just absolutely spoiler spoilers alert. but the Season two was far more, um, uh, I don't want to say serious because season one was serious, but season two had a lot more going on in it, yeah, than season one, it's so. definitely more intense, yeah. Well, for those that don't know what Heartstopper is, even maybe, right? You're just like, what is this show? It's a show on Netflix again, we're now in season two. Um, it follows a group of high school students at uh, school in. Britain somewhere well, it's, um, yeah. and most of the group that they follow are somewhere in the LGBTQ plus community um, I think everyone at the end of the season I think would solidly fit in that category as far as all the main characters it seems well, um, no because I mean it seems but no not, <laughs> not everyone so like Imogen I don't know. She, if she's the one like, I have a question about. Yeah, they were exactly. like questioning, you know? Yeah. But Tao so, is not. He's straight. His It's just that all his friends are in the LGBTQ community. So that's, that's something I wonder about with him. Why? So you would, you would, he would be classified as straight. He's straight. Yes. And I think they even said that in the first season. Uh, I think Charlie said that. But what's also interesting is that in the first season, Charlie said that Isaac and Tao, he, well, he said they're not gay. But Isaac is pro, it seems to be, he's asexual, it seems like. Seemingly, and, correct. Um, and it seems like he might be gay, you know? So I got it. I don't know. That's it, that was weird. That was a question that I had in my mind. But Tao apparently is just straight. Yeah. I guess as an aside, I was hoping it's, that's probably a different show altogether. But I was hoping to get more into like Tao's mindset because again, he knew Elle from before mm -hmm. she came out as trans. Yeah. Right. And so, and then you go with her through the process, and now. Mm -hmm. You have this, attra this attraction. I don't know what all that. Do meant you think for him. they like he was? You're wondering if he was like they were just good friends before, and then yeah, I, he, like she made the transition. Yeah, they don't really say, right. and they don't really like his only struggle in the show is seemingly, man, this is a this is a good friend. I don't want to ruin their friendship. Right. The struggle doesn't seem to be anything to do with, oh. I've seen this transition happen. I'm not sure how I feel about how I feel. Right. Because I would imagine there'd be some level of working through that at some point in his life. There might Maybe not be, right then. But I but... think also, I mean, I don't know. So I'm just hypothesizing here. But there might be. But I also think it's quite likely that there isn't either. Because so, for example, when let's just assume that this that he's straight. This, I think he's straight. So mm -hmm. I think that's what the I, I haven't read the comics yet. Uh, I have them. Wait, hold up. This 
use my cars. Well, this is only oh, the wow. first three. Uh, the the first three, and uh, and then I think there's multiple. I haven't gotten the other books yet. But anyways, the the so the assumption is that Tower Street and our listeners will tell us if um, you know correct us um, because there are people who have read the comics and and stuff like that. So the assumption is that. Tao is, and I don't want to read the comics because um, I want to watch the show first, mm -hmm. you know. So anyways, uh, the assumption is that he's straight, and then if he knew, and then he knew L, I don't know what L's uh, pre uh, um, pre transition uh, name was, but if he knew L before, you know, pre transition when they were, when when uh, she was at Truman hi mm -hmm. um he may have just not he may have had feelings or he may have not have but if he's straight we're just assuming he didn't have any feelings but then and they were just really good friends but then when the transition happens um you know she's just bringing this feminine energy right so it's not necessarily kind of like about what's between his legs or, or, or her legs or you know, i mean whatever, I, I, but it's really it's not, but it also is. Well, not really, because that's the that's the point. Uh, I mean, that's one of the the the. Uh, I mean, that's the whole. This is the whole debate, I think, about or the whole issue. I think people, a lot of straight people, have with the whole transgender situation is because once the transition happens, the only thing that they're thinking about is what's between this person's legs. But you you have to actually think. Or you know, or their their chest, but you actually have to think broader than this because it's actually not on that level. It's uh, it's literally a chemical. It's on a chemical uh, level that this is working on. So if we take yeah. into you know intersex, right? So mm -hmm. people who are born with perhaps this uh, both um, with both the gender genitalia and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. It's not about, again, it's not about that genitalia or, you know, that they have breast or whatever, but they're a male or something like that. It's not about that. It's about whatever energy, and I know energy seems kind of like woo, but that's really kind of the only word that we've been able to ascribe to it at the moment. Right. It's whatever that is that they're presenting is what is attracting the person. You know? Oh, I, I I agree with you yeah. as far as what's attracting him. Mm -hmm. I guess in, in my mind, because even we look back at Nick and Charlie, right? Like like Nick didn't realize he was bi, right? And he had these feelings and he he went through some time of trying to understand kind of like what he was feeling and how that fit, right? Right. I would just imagine Tao would have had some level of working through what all that means okay. but at some point they're going to get to a point where it's like oh this is what i'm doing right. and, and maybe that's later but you know like not that he's going to be turned off or whatever but i mm -hmm. feel like th there's probably somewhere some internal conversation about what this actually means right you know I, um, yeah i mean i understand and i know that people who are I know that people who have been brought up kind of like in this kind of conventional uh, hetero normative way of thinking, I, I, like like us, I think, um, I think that we would technically have that, you know, this 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 kind of second thought process. I know I do, and it's something that I have to active actively that I choose to actively work through. Right. Because I also recognize in myself that I was taught one way and shown one way. But then I got older and I realized, no, there's just a million different things about just the hu the human, you know, gender and uh, genetics and stuff that I just don't know. And researchers are coming out more and more with this. So if so, with Tao being, I guess, younger in the, in the younger generation, um, they might have less of an issue with that because <laughs> my generation and the generation just after me uh, or yeah just after me had less and less of an an issue with it right i don't have nearly as much of an issue with it as my 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 um my ancestors right mm -hmm. and then those who came uh, after me have even less of an issue so by the time it gets down to tau 
um, I'm thinking it's actually not really. And, and even, even in my generation, there are people who just, it just, it's not a thing. It's not an issue, you know? So it could be that he had an issue with it, but it could be, it's like almost like 50, 50, since we don't yeah. really know is right. because it could be, yeah. he just didn't have one. Right. You know? And I guess, I guess for me, and again, this is probably a different show. This show doesn't really go no. into a lot of things very deeply right in that way, because it's just not that kind of a show, right? right? Yeah. It's more light and surface issues, but that's one area where I was like, man, I really wish they could have, even if his thought process was, I don't think about this, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I wish they would have talked about like it. made that yeah. apparent, yeah. right? It, it, even if only for a teaching moment, because for me, I really am watching the show in a way, almost educationally in yeah. some way, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Just like, mm-hmm. and so I'm just, I'm watching it, trying to just see how they're interacting, like what's going on. And mm-hmm. so I would have liked to see like, because I mean, his perspective, perspective wouldn't be every perspective, no, right? No, but I, I was curious, like, about like what? what that might look like with him, either obviously not caring or like having a little bit of conflict. Like, what does this mean for me? Right. Like, I'm straight, but yet I'm attracted to her. Mm-hmm. Like, what does that mean? Okay, cool. Like, I realize this this is whatever, and I'm going forward. Right. Right. Like, that would be interesting to me. Just. I definitely Personally, can appreciate that so, from you know. the, uh, you know, like, yeah, learning perspective, because we all do have to learn. Uh, and there's things that they were talking about aces. So they call them aces, asexuals. And mm-hmm. um, there are things about them, like when he met the guy, I, I think it was at the, was it, where is it, at a, the party or something like that? No, it mm-hmm. was at uh, when Elle was doing her, um, like the unveiling of her, her picture or whatever and mm-hmm. and uh isaac and oh he was talking about talking the art the, yeah, yeah and, and how freeing yeah how freeing it was and stuff like that and i heard right. that and i i learned it because uh, you know not being asexual uh that was new to me and that was new information and i really right i really just and see i don't know i really just appreciate this series like it is very you know it's not convoluted it's you know they they sprinkle it's they sprinkle a little information here and there, and then it's just so beautiful. And I really wish that there was something like this when I was growing up. It would have made things much easier. But anyways. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, it, to this point, um, we're talking about Heartstopper, but I just got finished watching this series called on, on Prime called Prisma, which is an Italian series. They go into something kind of similar. So it's about a twins, um, twin boys one is apparently straight they don't really talk about much of anything but one is apparently straight and one is apparently um gay but he he's a, so he's he 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 meant he says i'm a guy but i don't always feel like one uh, you know and so he sometimes is dressed like up like a girl but he said he's not in the sh- in the show he said he's not transgender he just feel, mm-hmm. you know and he was kind of catfishing by accident. He ended up catfishing this uh, this guy on the show. Um, and they did go through the process of this guy when he found out the, you know, because you know he's going to find out. So there's no spoiler. Just the mm-hmm. question is, like, how is he going to find out and what's he going to do about it? So I won't spoil that for you. But he it did go through his pro- thought process of, you know, do I accept this? Do I not accept this? You know, or whatever the situation is. So, I mean, that might be a, a good starting point. Um, I mean, not maybe a good starting point, but that in that show, at least that they did kind of explain the, a little bit more of what could go through somebody's mind if they're, mm-hmm. you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I, I gush over a heart stopper, not because it's just, it's just so warm, you know, like it's like, you know, I am married to a guy, a, a man, and um, it <laughs> it is nothing like what happened in, the, in these movies, in the, you know, normal LGBTQ plus movies, where it's always someone dying and stuff like that. Like we <laughs> live yeah. pretty normally and that's kind of what was happening in hard stuff it's just normal they met each other they right you know there wasn't a bunch of drama well charlie had a bunch of drama and that's what happened and the drama kind of you know i want to talk about this drama in season two because like so you know harry who was an antagonist in season one yeah 
what happened? Right. You don't remember what happened in season no, one? No, I don't I don't get I mean what happened, I mean Harry seems to have totally changed. Yeah, I mean it's weird because yeah, they, they did mention so when they were not uh, on the Eiffel Tower, they were he was like, Oh, uh he um did Harry just stick up for us or something? Yeah, like that, and know? he did. But what's weird is that also he tried to come into the party and apologize, and then Charlie shut the door in his face. Right, right, which was very odd to me. Which it was odd, but then also looking at the way that he was apologizing, I could see that it didn't feel like an apology. You know, like if I was in that situation, there's a part of me that I there's always a part of me that's like forgive somebody you know that's always mm-hmm. there's always just that part of me but then the other part of me is like is this sincere because you don't want to put yourself into a situation where but it was also weird is that he was trying to get into this party they shut the door in his face but ben who actually assaulted right was already in there was already in there so yeah. it was i have in my weird. notes just contrasting harry and ben right because yeah. the way the show treats them also the way charlie treats them i'm like it's it's just it was interesting to me how how they did that because Harry again, even when they were at the prom, he and the guys were kind of making jokes about, oh how like like how Nick at least had a boyfriend yeah. and they all don't have a girlfriend like you know like it was just it's like he had truly kind of changed but the show didn't let anyone really acknowledge that yeah. like it was like oh like you're forever like anathema to us like right. don't talk to us like. Yeah go away and i was like that's a that's a kind of a a, a huge uh, uh which, how can i say this it's kind of like a uh point noir like a like a a talking a, a negative talking point. i don't know how to say <laughs> like it's like a negative talking point or, or consideration point for um like heart stopper fans because there's a lot of people who don't believe that for example, Ben deserves a redemption arc. I, for one, always believe that people deserve a a redemption arc because um, we just do. But the thing, the difference between Ben and Harry is that Ben um, manipulated, gaslighted, and then assaulted Charlie. Right. You know, like he put Charlie through some literal hell and he didn't. Which Which is why I appreciated what Charlie said to him at the end yeah. about, hey, even that first kiss, you didn't even respect me enough to like see right. if that's what I wanted to do. And he's like, so I don't want to see you ever again. Right. Which exactly. I'm I'm fine with with that. Like because again, that was very personal and he assaulted right. you multiple times yes. and humiliated you. Right. Yeah. Right. And so that one I I'm like, I'm fine. I'm sure he'll be redeemed later. But for now, like I see why Yeah, he's got to as far as he's concerned. Between. Yeah. Like you might never need to be redeemed. Right. Like you can you can you can redeem Ben with someone else. Right. Yeah. But yeah. as far as Charlie's concerned, I think that's fine to leave it. Yeah. I was just it's just odd to me that he just slammed the door in Harry's face that way, yeah. and the whole party was like, "Hey!" And, went back <laughs> and I was like, "Yo!" Like he seemed like pretty genuine. Like, like but that's you know, the thing. He I don't didn't know. seem. And what you, this is what was interesting for me is because when he was apologizing, he didn't seem very in, um, genuine. You know, interesting. He was. He was, he seemed kind of like joking, but it was a joking matter. But he also didn't, ass- he assaulted actually um, um, Nick, uh, Nick, or Nick. Yeah, yeah, he assaulted mm-hmm. Nick. So at the end of season one, like he pushed him, you know, and that's how the fight started. Yeah. So, you know, I would have thought that it would have been Nick who did it, but Nick is just so much more like when Ben was just talking all of that. And, yeah, when Ben was talking all of that crap on uh, to Nick and when they were, you know, preparing for the GS, whatever they're called. Yeah, whatever. Uh, like, you know, he, he I think it showed I think that's what the show was trying to sh- show was that he didn't actually he wasn't remorseful, you know, and uh, right. this, I think the same thing happened. And and and, and Nick just kind of let it happen. So uh, if anybody was going to shut the door in his face, I think it would have been Nick, but Nick wouldn't have done that i don't think you know yeah, well, and and I, yeah I think that that really shows like both of them being more protective of the other yes. person yeah yeah whereas like like charlie didn't didn't wasn't like hey like ben don't be around where whereas nick was like didn't want him anywhere near right. any of them yeah and i think charlie was trying to do the same thing for nick and slamming right. the door yeah right that now that yeah. we're talking about i'm like yeah he was really protecting nick yeah. not really not protecting himself he was definitely yeah like, he was just like oh you hurt him so you're dead to me right, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. instead of you know which i get it 
I so get yeah, I mean, to, to me, like, I, I'm not saying they were wrong. It is to me, given the way the show was, I thought that they would have, like, brought Harry in. Yeah, as a, in a way, like, it, it just, yeah. I mean, so. I again, I haven't read the comments, but I think eventually he does have an opportunity. He would. It he seems can, like it, he would, but he just yeah. was not. He was not. Um, he he was not remorseful, you know. Yeah. He thought Maybe he was too soon. Yeah, he he, he, doing... he yeah he he's the type of person that um he wanted to apologize, but he didn't want to make it like a like a big serious thing, right? You know what I mean? But it so, is a serious thing is yeah. the problem, you know. And right. So you've got to you've got to own that. You've got to acknowledge it. And you've got to, and that's what honestly that's what Ben should have done if he was really sorry yeah. about what. He, but I don't think he was. He I was think not, he's no. he's still just kind of upset that he lost. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so whatever. And this is okay. what's crazy too, because um, Sebastian Kopp, who plays uh, Ben, just played him so well. Like you just believe that this guy was just a douchebag. You the know? worst. Like yeah, yeah, you just believe it. Like he just does it so well. And I, I don't know. I'm just really incredibly like odd at that. So, anyways. Yeah. All right. So let, let's let's run through a few relationships and just I want I want to get your feeling of as far as okay. you know yeah. how they ended up, kind of the journey, real quick. Okay. So we'll kind of. Not rapid fire, but we'll, we'll try to go through all of them. I think I have them all listed here. If I miss something, let me know. Okay. All right. So, your feeling about a, a kind of Nick and Charlie, kind of the, the progression and kind of how they ended up at the end of the show. I'm so happy that it got the, that it was not all sunshine and rainbows. Even though I'm like I love this series because it's like sunshine and rainbows, but mm -hmm. <laughs> but they did address some things that um, with them that I really appreciated because mm -hmm. it gave both of the characters depth yeah so i like that i do sure. like their relationship and it's 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 not it was like it started out <laughs> the season started out with just a ton of kissing they actually, uh, said, they actually it was, said that and, and here's the thing like again i'm the father of a teenager mm -hmm. so part of me watching shows like this now mm -hmm. is just a little bit i feel very daddish yeah so i'm like all these kids sneaking around and i'm like yeah it just bothers me. I'm yeah. like, I just, like, in a lot of ways, I'm just uncomfortable with it. I'm like, can you, like, I'm just like, what is going, like, yeah. go home. Like, why are you in the person's room? Like, all this stuff. I'm like, uh, yeah. like, can we just yeah. stop all this sneaking around? It's so weird to me how I got, as, even a few years ago, I didn't feel that as much as I do now. I'm just like, yeah. What is going on? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> all these teenagers. Syndrome. Yeah, exactly. I, I, <sighs> and me on the on the other hand, like I was loving it because they were just doing the things that you would I would have wanted to do when I was in high school, you know. So I was just like living vicariously through them. It, <laughs> it was great. So. <laughs> right. Got it. So one one thing I was thinking about it was with Nick and Charlie was the kind of the, they really touched on you know Charlie having some kind of eating disorder. They don't really yeah. say they don't no. say what it is. Right. I mean. Nick seems to think maybe anorexia from his research, it seems to be, but they don't right. say what it is. Mm -hmm. The one thing, and again, this is probably in a different type of show, but to me, there's there's kind of a lack of adult guidance and professional yes, intervention with true. any of these kids. Yes. Right. And so to me, they're all kind of muddling through by themselves, which which maybe is the point of the show. Exactly. But also I, I'm like no one's going to counseling yeah. like no one's really has any adult that they're actually talking through any of this stuff with yeah. it's just everyone's just kind of like just floundering right and i'm like yeah. which is which you know i guess that that could be in a way like true in some ways yeah. but I, part of me was kind of hoping for hey can we at least see someone in here like getting some actual <laughs> some actual help you know well, the, um, the, 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 so. the the professor ajay, ajay ajay i think i forgot how to pronounce his name anyways like he was trying to help him in season one you know um the art teacher yeah the, the art black teacher, guy he was trying yeah, to yeah. help uh so he was the one that right. was helping charlie the most um, yeah but yeah there was a lack of an adult intervention right you know and even that was to me was was very much it's more of a I mean, he was there, but it was a very casual. It was, yeah. You know, what I mean, which, which is helpful, mm -hmm. but well, he also he didn't want to push Charlie, right? So that's yeah, the, the for thing. Sure. You want to let them come to you when they do. But the thing is, also with Charlie, is that he would not acknowledge the issues that he was. The only the only time that and this is like a problem, um, and both well, problem that pe kids have to be like people people just in general, even adults mm -hmm. have to deal with is that you like you don't want to acknowledge it and then you don't want to go 
seek help and and charlie just refused to acknowledge it like he, re- he was just like it's fine he kept saying it's fine it's fine it's yeah fine. it's not fine but like right you didn't want to be at that prom like you know all this stuff yeah, yeah exactly that you didn't really even want to do right you just kind of like power through it and just right yeah because i mean he was he was cutting himself like yeah like it's not fine you know but he didn't know that you know so yeah all right well we, we touched a little bit about tau and l mm-hmm. so i guess for people that don't know if you care so nick and charlie um charlie's gay nick is bi yep. that's how that relationship actually. works <laughs> <laughs> actually actually yeah. And so now, now we go on to Tao and L. So Tao, Nate said is straight. Mm-hmm. I guess we can assume. I think we told otherwise. Yeah. Um, L is transgender. transgendered uh, yes. female, mm-hmm. woman, girl. I don't know. Girl, woman. I'm not sure what you usually prefer, but female. Well, female, <laughs> yeah. So. Right. Well, they say um, they said we say transgender person. That's what they said. Right. So, yeah. Exactly. So um, how do you feel about kind of their story? Man, I was hoping for that story since season one. I told you, though, I was like, man, I wanted it. Uh, but I'm glad that they kind of worked it out. And what was cool about it, too, was that they had Tao trying to kind of initiate it um, and then screwing up royally, breaking the whole thing up, and then them finding themselves back together anyway, more naturally, you know? Right. Like, And I feel like that is always the best way to do it because people do try, tend to kind of – over exaggerate and you know try to make this <laughs> so do, do, do you think he really messed it up well he, or did she get scared i think they both they both well i think he probably messed it up the most um because he was trying to please her which is what happens in these types of situations he was trying to please her um, and not really thinking about himself and she in their relationship has always been the voice of reason you know uh, between those two she's always been the voice of reason so i think he messed it up the most but she definitely messed it up because um she didn't she would just ignore the the situation you know she would just go with her friends she wouldn't acknowledge the fact that there is an issue and you yeah. kind of need to talk right. about it and stuff like that or whatever uh, she didn't do that so like they both screwed that up but i think he yeah. kind of initiated the screw up like already, like... I mean, to me, he 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 messed up in a fumbly, normal way. Right. But the way that she reacted to that, to me, it didn't it it didn't seem quite like it fit. Like, okay, he cut his hair and was doing a little bit too much to impress you, mm-hmm. right? And so your reaction to that is, okay, then we shouldn't date. No, that was, I was like her that... reaction to it. Her reaction yeah, like she... was, she told him, she was like, oh, but I liked your longer your 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 hair. Um, and then she, when he told her about the, um, the movie, she was like, but you don't like it. And he was like, yeah, but you do, you know? And so she was, she right. just kept commenting on that. They finished the movie. Um, and then he was like, well, my mom's coming to pick me up. Do you want to go to this party? Uh, and then they got to the party and then she was like her friends. And then he flipped out because she had their friends and he got his, this, this phobia came back to him of her like moving on without him sort of thing and then that's where it it broke off because then he was like um he was like maybe it's true romance does ruin everything and stuff like that like that's why that's how like it it screwed up so i think that's what i I meant by he's really more of the he really kind of initiated the screw up but she did not she just was like shrugged and (laughs) walked off yeah Right, and I guess I guess that that seemed odd to me, given that she was pursuing him in a way. That is odd, yes. And so and then she was like, "Oh well, yeah. like I guess." <laughs> and I was like, "Huh? Like, like he's he messed it up, yeah. but he was going the right direction." Right. He was like, "Oh well, that's that's on you." <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, it seemed odd, but you know, whatever. I'm odd. nitpicking, was but the... it was it was just. Yeah. Seemed odd to me. Yeah. yeah. But I'm very All happy right. they worked it out because it seemed more natural and I love it. Yeah, it seemed like it was going to and I to me it was so funny how excited his mother was I about know, the whole thing. Right? Oh she was gonna goodness. tell all the aunts and uncles and everybody. Yeah, right? She was so excited. So I was like, Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it was, man. That having that kind of support is a thing. So Yeah. Fun. All right. On to Darcy and Tara. So yeah. this is the lesbian couple from the girls' school. Um the impression we get is that um, Darcy is this outgoing, full-blown confident in her identity and was helping Tara 
accepted. Mm -hmm. um, it seems to be that was mostly a facade in, in a way, or at least I guess a partial facade, partial facade in yeah. that, you know, Darcy really was kind of not out at home yeah. and was having to kind of muddle through that. So how did that whole thing sit with you, their, their kind of journey? That was unexpected. I totally was not expecting that. And I am happy that it, I mean, I'm not happy for the situation, but I'm happy that something happened that I was not anticipating. Um, I did see that they were having troubles in the trailers, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't know. But I, I knew it was because in the trailer she had said, I loved you. And I, I know that people use that trope all the time uh, when they're writing, you know, I love you. Right. Oh, but you don't have to say it back or whatever. But you actually really want them to say it back sort of thing, blah, blah, blah. Well, but right. There was something deeper. Uh, and that's not what I was expecting. That that was something I wasn't expecting, you know. So the fa the whole issue with her not being out to her her family, which I totally wasn't expecting, um, which is interesting because Tara was out to her family at that point, you know. And right, like <laughs> yeah, like it was and and, Dar and Darcy was so public about it, like at school, right? Exactly. And Tara was it was embarrassed, uh, you know, mm. like didn't want to. She didn't have the exactly. Confidence, you know? So it was really kind of a like a swapping, uh, switching places sort of thing, you know. So I don't know. I I'm glad that they went through it um, because I mean, I, no one should have to go through that, you know, having a family, you know, um, a parent like that. But um, I'm glad in the show that they did because again, it added some depth to them, uh, and that's some of the one of the, the things that make you kind of grow closer together when you realize this. You know, and you could see how much Tara, she was like, she texted and she was like, I'm getting scared. Like that's, those are emotions that you usually don't disclose to. I mean, you don't even disclose mm -hmm. those to people you're dating unless you feel really right. close, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. What did you feel? How did you feel about that? Yeah. I, I was curious what type of home environment she was coming from. Oh, okay. Like, I, yeah, I, 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 I didn't, I figured that was part of it. Mm hmm but I also envisioned her being embarrassed that maybe she was poor. I, I figured there was other oh, layers to okay. it besides that. Like, you know, never coming to my house. I, I figured it's just because you're also embarrassed of mm -hmm. your home environment, right. which it seemed to be a very well-to-do home. Mm -hmm. It's just that home, she's not herself. Right. And so I guess in some ways she didn't want Tara to know that at all. Right. So she didn't want her coming over. So right. I got it. And I guess it, it, it fits. I mean, mm, I wouldn't have thought that was the reason she didn't say I love you, mm -hmm. but I guess her reasoning of, I feel like I'm lying to you. Right. And you don't really even know me. Right. And so it feels disingenuous to say it back to you and, and keep this facade on. Yeah. Which to me, that, that would become the opportunity to, I guess now, like be truthful about what's going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. instead of like just act like literally ignoring the question that right. like it never happened yeah which was so which odd was, yeah that was so can we talk awkward. about it i'll oh, talk like, about what oh the party yeah, she's right. like <laughs> like you know what i'm talking about even, even tara at the end was like you know when i said i love you that i meant it like you you knew yeah. it wasn't just what friends say like you knew right. i meant that like quit yeah. trying to act like you're oblivious right. to what's going on yeah so. which I, but again you know i chalked that up to just teenage like teenage logic mm -hmm. which isn't the it's best very so logical. yes i get it you know <laughs> fine um all right so that's the main couples there mm -hmm. um we touched on imogen a little bit so she was um described mostly a series or, the, or the season as kind of like the the lone ally yeah. in a lot of ways right, right yes. with, with the group mm -hmm. um and she made this funny she made this comment about it'd be much easier if i like girls you yeah. recall that yeah, right yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then at the end She's like she's watching this with, girl uh, in the band yeah, I forgot her playing. Name. I was like, Sanji or something. Like Sanji. Is this supposed to mean something? Yeah. Or how 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 do you feel about about that turn if it does turn that way? I, I think I I don't know because you know, I was wondering to myself. I'm like, oh, are they gonna are they gonna tell her, turn her bisexual? Um, again, I didn't read the comic, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, if, if they're gonna call her turn her bisexual or something like that. Um, but also historically women have had, have been far more fluid with their sexuality, um, than men. They have been far more, um, at, at ease exploring, you know, with each other, um, other women and then just other genders in, in, in general. Um, so I, I like the fact that they didn't say anything, um, because it lets, 
image and explore. It lets her, you know, it lets her decide herself. But, you know, on the note, but not on the same topic, um, Imogen is for me the hero of this this season. Um, I did not expect so much like strength uh, from her. Like she gave me like, she, you know, when she told off uh, Ben Grant, she did it in public. Which, to be honest, right? I mean, yeah, that was it, a lot. It was a lot, but also like she had gotten fed up, you know, and like True. it was a. It was, I mean, you know, she did apologize. She was like, well, she didn't apologize, but she was like, I probably shouldn't have done it. <laughs> no, right. you probably yeah. shouldn't have. But yeah, also, that was a lot. like, you were, she still, how many women would literally just tolerate that? You know, just yeah. be like, this is, you know, and she did not. And I was just so like, I was just like, like, I was so, I was so enthralled. I was just like, you go. Like, yes, you do not let any, especially a man, walk over you like that. No, right. what are you doing? No. And she did. And then, like, and she, like, you know, so after her, like, snafu in the first season, where she's like, I'm an ally, you know, <laughs> whatever. And everybody was just, like, mocking <laughs> her or whatever. Um, she, she just, she reasserted herself, you know. She gained this, she had this confidence. Um, and even when she didn't have this, you know, the proper, I suppose, confidence, she, she found it from somewhere, you know, sort of thing. I -hmm. love that she was like the person that Nick wanted to, to tell and how she just already knew. Cause like we were, we weren't sure while we watched the first episode, we weren't sure, you know, if she was, if she was uh, like oblivious to it. No, she wasn't oblivious. She had noticed. We didn't know that she had noticed, which I liked that they didn't. Yeah. It was interesting. Hint to that. Like, I don't know why I just, I do know why this is the, this is the reason she, I just thought, she was the heroine of the story. Like I was just so yeah. happy. You know, it's interesting that, that you call her the heroine of the story. I I wonder, as you said that, I was thinking through, could that be why they might choose for her to not be straight? Oh. Right? As as so as to not have the straight, straight person be person. perceived as the hero right. of the, you know, in a way, because, because for me, I, I was like, okay, there's someone like, I guess my perspective that I can kind of see through their lens, like what's going on. Right. right? And yeah. so, you know, and so there's this group of people because even <laughs> I, I remember texting you this morning when I was finishing up and I was like, when we found out that that other teacher yeah. is, I don't know if he's gay or what his situation is, yeah. mm-hmm. but I was like, is everybody yeah. right? Like, like <laughs> not that it's a problem, right. but like, it starts to feel a little bit extra when every single person is. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I, I don't know if that's a choice. I, I mean, again, I don't know how you feel about that. Like, like, is that, does that feel better or worse? Like, I know you don't need to have represent everybody in the show. Right. But does it make sense that everyone we really are main characters None of them are straight. I think it, well, I think what it should do and what it does for me, um, depending on what your perspective is, what it should do is let you know, let people who are watching know there are far more queer people that exist than you, than, than you or they give uh, credit for. So while mm-hmm. you're, while, you know, I say you, but not you, Christian, but right. like I'm saying, while, while, you, while people are over here assuming that everyone is just straight, you're wrong you know Mm -hmm. so you can um have like we don't even know if the the football coach is lesbian she just married a woman you know we don't know if she's bisexual you don't we don't know if she's demisexual so she's just like you know going with the person that makes them feel special you know uh so transgender anything like this we don't know any of that and that's the whole the whole point it's not it's not just a bunch of straight people and some queer people it's a mixture of people you know so even in their friend group not everybody is gay you know like there's gay bisexual we got asexual you know like they're they are representing tech they're representing the rainbow showing you Mm -hmm. you know this is this is how it actually is. I don't know if that was the intention be- with Alice uh, Oseman, but that's the way I see it. And that's the way I've always seen it, even before the show, is that 
like when we, when we were at university, uh, I don't know if you were aware of how many actual gay people there were on campus, you know? Like I got to, I, I met them, it was like a club. And in Brazil, it's even worse. It's actually almost like a club, you know? Mm -hmm. And you just meet these people and just like, you, you're you gay, you know, whatever. <laughs> and you just, you, you wouldn't realize this, you know? But everybody who is not on the inside, you know, they just assume every way. Everyone assumed that I was straight, except for the people that were really close to me that just, you know, were like, mm, Nate's got a little something. <laughs> You sure? Yeah, right. But everybody else, they just assumed that I was straight. And I, I never, I mean, I granted I was acting like it, but just in general, like in, in, in schools and stuff like that, everyone, you know, if you don't have a safe place to come out to, yeah, everyone's just going to appear straight. You're just going to assume that it is. So it does, it doesn't shock me that there were so many kind of queer people there. It does seem consolidated because it's a, a movie, but also queer people find each other because, well, they, they feel safe amongst each other. They don't feel safe, yeah. you know, whatever. So right. I don't feel like it was an yeah. overload, but I, I understand what you're saying, but I, I feel like it was, it made sense, you know? Yeah. So. You know, I, I think it's, it, it, I noticed it more. First, it, first it was that other teacher, which I kind of suspected they, they kind of hinted at that quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and I guess back to when they slammed the door in Harry's face, mm -hmm. right? It started to make me feel like I hope the show isn't trying is isn't making it too insular where, you know, if you're not part of the community, then you can't be part of the community. Right. But again, right. and, so Tao yeah, is straight, is supposed to be straight. And and we don't know they had a lot of people that were in the party who they hadn't identified their their correct. sexuality. Correct. Right. The the people that they were shutting out were literally jerks. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. They were just shutting out jerks who also happened to be. Well, uh, Ben was not. He's not. We don't know what his gender is. I mean, sorry, his uh, I identity is. Um, but we definitely know that he is queer of some sort. Um, mm -hmm. And then Harry, we don't know, but we just assume he's straight. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do understand the, 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 the question, you know, about like, you know, yeah. is it just... It's just just a queer cup. No, it's right. re it's really right. about acceptance. Yeah, I guess in my mind, I, I was, and maybe it's just from the straight perspective. I, I I was, I was hoping for at least a token person to help show unity, yeah. right? Like, okay, and I guess you you include Tao. I would not necessarily include Tao because he's he's with L. Like to me, he's he seems like part of the in group, not part of the out group. If if that, if, if, if that makes sense. Well, he is part of the in group, but he's just not part of the lgbtq plus community right so he's none of those he is he appears to be straight he wants to date l who was a female um so like you know uh, and he doesn't seem to have any attraction to other guys but he is he does seem comfortable with his identity to the point where he can kiss charlie and not have any qualms about it you know and in, in the show he you know, so he was like, yeah, there was they didn't make it seem like there was any kind of sexual tension or anything like that. They made it seem really it was just really well done where they just made it seem, oh, I don't care. Like he's you know, he's a friend of mine, um, but he's really into L, you know, but L is part of the uh, LGBTQ plus community. Right. So, I, uh, yeah. The, but I think also I, that's probably one of the reasons why they mentioned that Imogen was like the token uh, ally. Well, right, but 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 then she, but then in the end they they kind of make they had, so she's really well. We not. don't know, and that's right. that was my point is that yeah. we don't know if she is or not. But she's also um, a female, and again, females have been willing, more willing to explore that because by the end of the at the end of the day she might be like no i'm straight i tried i you know tested the waters no but uh it's still cool you know sort of thing and that would make her but even if she did was like mm, I, there was a lot of straight women <laughs> side note there are a lot of straight women who would prefer to date women they're just not les <laughs> lesbian you know uh just because they 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 talk better together, you know, they just identify better together, you know, women do. So that's what they, that's what they say anyway. So, 
Yeah. Yeah. But we'll see. All I right. guess we'll see what the season three, because there is a season three coming. Yeah. We'll, see what, we'll see what happens. Yeah. The the only other, other side note that I have for the season for me was, again, just a, a, a dad comment. Hmm. So this Paris trip. Yeah. There's two chaperones. Yeah, that was how weird. many kids were there? I agree. Like what, thirty kids, forty kids? Yeah, and that was two weird, adults, right? Yeah, and they're mostly be like, all right, oh, go think... off, and we'll see you in the evening. Was it thirty? There was, there was. It was I don't a know. Bus, it, it was a bus. It load. was a bus. So yeah. I, I'm estimating thirty to forty kids, right, seemingly yeah. about that. I don't know how many, but it seems like way too many kids for only two chaperones. That's what I was thinking. That is the one thing that that crossed. You know, there was that. I mean, I, yeah, we've definitely gone over, but the there was that. That was one of the things that was an issue. Like uh, one of the things that stood out to me, I was like, "How is it that?" And there's two guys. Like there was women, there were girls, right? And, you know, <laughs> girls, uh, f- males and females on the trip, right? But just two right. male chaperones. Yeah, you know? and and you have four people to a room, but only two beds. Right. Yeah. Like, like already, was, all yeah, that's... all of that was just really. I mean, it was setting up obviously for the show, <laughs> right? But right, at but... the same time, like it was a little off. I was like, that's not. I'm not realistic. sending my son on that trip. <laughs> like that's I mean, not. You're not going. Know, but like, uh, yeah, I mean, just uh, from a parent, you probably wouldn't know. If, uh, you know, you, you would know because assume... you, you go to the meeting and you see. No, that's probably true. Yeah. Okay. Because I, yeah. I, I was thinking about it because my son just went on a Europe trip. Right. So I so I watched them at the at the at the at like the meeting they had at the school. Right. And I was like, okay, two chaperones. I was like. It can't just be these two. Right, exactly. I was like, surely on the trip, there's more than just these two. Right, yeah. And that was also like you had you had mentioned the fact that they were just like, you know, disperse and come back. What? In a foreign country? Are yeah, you, like, yeah. Are like, you don't get lost. Like, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I, that was very shocking to me. And another thing that I, I, uh, I wish was done better was, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Nick's relationship with his brother. I forgot his brother's name. Oh, I think it's David. David, I th- I yeah. don't know if that if the actor played that part very well. I don't know if it was how it was written or how he acted, but I don't think it was done very well. Um, I felt like it was kind of forced, you know. Like I felt what I felt was that Nick was actually overreacting to what. David was saying, and was, you said David or Daniel? David, right? I think it's David. I th- yeah, I think he. Uh, I felt like he was overreacting to what was being said, like as in David wasn't playing it up to the point where it was supposed to receive that reaction. You know what I mean? So he wouldn't make these comments, underhanded comments, and stuff like that, or whatever, which are definitely irking. So I completely, under, <laughs> uh, you know, understand right. that. But they didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, he didn't execute it in the way that made it seem like there was history behind it. You know, I, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Like, it's just. Yeah, well, they, they, they don't really let us know what their relationship was like before. Right. But even the the antagonizing, you know, when there's an antagonizing or, or I don't know, when when there's, when you've got somebody antagonizing or whatever, you you can hear i guess i would have expected i don't know how you would have done it because i'm not a thespian but if you you would i think you would i think you would kind of execute it in a way that kind of made you feel like there was there was some background to it even if you don't know what the background is and i didn't yeah. get that feeling i felt like I agree. they he he was he played it as though Oh, I'm a new character. This is a new story. When it's actually not a new story, it's supposed to be, uh, you know, uh, it's a it's, it's a it's, it's a new part to an old story that has not been told. You know. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it's it's not clear what, whether David, again, always teases him in this way. It's not clear whether he's teasing him only because he just found out. Right. Yeah. And that's that the problem by, because and the it, way Nick yeah. reacts is like I hate it when you you always you're always doing this. So Nick is playing to this role, right? But not David. You know what I mean? So I don't know. That's just my yeah. Opinion. And also, Nick, why are those pictures on your wall if you're not trying to? Like you, you surely you know someone's liable to come into your room. But see, that was the funny part, because remember when uh, Ben was like, if you don't want people guessing, you should stop acting so gay or something? Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm like, like it's just like, yeah. you know, and, and some, people, some, some, some people are 
trying to be caught so as to not have to make the decision. Right, yes. You know, mm-hmm. so I don't know if some of it is I put it on the wall and if somebody finds it, then, oh, well, too bad. Right. I hope they don't, mm-hmm. but I hope they do. But, you know, I, you know, to that point, and I was thinking about that, too, because, yeah, it, like if it was me and I was in the closet and I was for a very long time, yeah, I wouldn't have put those pictures up because you don't want people figuring that out, right? But um, uh, Nick, because he was straight and he was known as being sh- – like he was – he was – he had considered himself up to a certain point straight, right? It wasn't like he had always known that he was bisexual, but he was hiding, so he was just acting straight. So for him, having a picture of uh, of him just, like, hanging out with another guy wouldn't have been very much of an issue because everyone knew that he was straight and he had known himself to be straight. This is just me conceptualizing. I don't really know if that was what they were going for, you know? But they did use it as a prop to kind of – hint to you know like instead usually they're they find something on their phone or on their computer or something like that this was literally pictures on the wall well yeah which, it was like is <laughs> yeah so i was just like was that it was a setup or was and it your door is not locked your door's no not it's locked. like yeah, yeah exactly you just it was, so i don't, I don't know. know if you could we won't we won't know obviously but i don't know right. what would have caused him to put those pictures on his wall except for maybe thinking it's just pictures of me and a friend you and know. who's who's gonna see? But also, yeah, maybe. those pictures are gonna lead someone to ask the question whether you are true, or but, not. you know what I mean, like. But yeah, but that's only if you're thinking in that perspective, and this is why closeted gay people would not have put that on there because well, they know <laughs> that they're assuming that these are the thoughts that are so, you're going to be thinking. Right. But if you've grown up your entire life living in the heteronormative world because you were hetero. Uh, up until a certain point uh, well you thought you were hetero up into a certain point those kind of thoughts wouldn't even enter your mind so they like, still would because because you might be thinking oh someone's gonna think i'm gay right so so at, at the same like like for me like i wouldn't have a picture of me and some dude like hey uh, i might by my wall in my room that's just, you know like it, it would one i probably just wouldn't do it right <laughs> right, right okay. but two if i did it i would suspect that someone not knowing me very well would have the question because even okay. even me just having a very close guy friend, people had questions, right. and we didn't have pictures like that. You okay. know what I mean? So already him and Charlie hanging out so much, people can have questions anyway. Yeah. And then the pictures is on your wall. Yeah. And he's already known to be gay. Right. Right. So yeah. add that, that is, to it, that like is a good point. Because like since he's known to be gay, like it's yeah, hard. like yeah. any any person. Like, uh, unless you literally don't care if someone thinks you're gay, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But if you care at all, then you don't put it up there. Right. No matter what you're in, your orientation. If you care at all mm-hmm. of what they think, you don't put it there. Right. But he did. Yeah. But he's also hiding. Right. So I don't, make it. I don't know. I don't anyway, know. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I was like, what, what, are you, why would you, what are you doing? Yeah. Does not make sense? Yeah. But also, he's just reckless anyway. But again, teenagers. So yeah, teenage yeah. logic yeah. doesn't make sense. Right. I'll say it again. <laughs> <laughs> so sue me. He's speaking from experience. <laughs> <laughs> so sue me. Hey, we all go through it. We no do. judgment. No. It's just a fact of life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anywho's, well, we're running long. So Nate, tell me, you know, as our uh as I've described you, our, our heart stopper stan. Yes. How'd you feel about season two? I love it. What's your rating? I, and that's cool too, because it's season two, right? So it's, you know, it's the sequel or whatever. And mm-hmm. it was actually, in my opinion, just as good as the first one, if not a little bit better because it had a little bit more depth to it, you know, but it did not disappoint. I saw that someone had mentioned that on a YouTube, like they were like season two did not disappoint. And I agree. It did not disappoint. So I definitely would give it, I think I'll probably give it a 10. 12. Yeah. I mean, a 10. Did I give the first season a 10? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure you yeah, did. Probably. I don't remember. But this one is definitely definitely a 10. The only thing that I had an issue with was the way uh, Nick's brother's uh, character kind of was executed. I thought it could have been far more in-depth, you know, but... I don't think that that took away from the story. Like mm-hmm. I think Nick, I think uh, was Kid Connor really stepped it up, you know, to that uh, point. So it was it was fantastic. I loved it, and I'm going to watch it again. So what do you what? How about sure, you? What sure. were you thinking? Yeah, I, I'm thinking. I don't know. Probably an eight somewhere. You know, I, again, I 
I'm it's a well done show mm -hmm. and I'm really watching it as I mentioned really more for educational purposes yeah right because again just overall like high school dramas is not really the thing that I really watch right yeah, yeah. <laughs> right just no matter who it is. forced him to watch this so. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> but like 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 th this to me is it's is a solid show it's well done and it's and it to me it's I I like being immersed in a different culture yeah right like so that's why sometimes I like watching a Korean thing or yeah. mm -hmm. a Japanese thing where I get to see the world in this whole different way yeah like that's just fun for me like, yeah. that's even why I, I like certain sci-fi stuff like mm -hmm. I like being immersed in like oh, I love a different thing not that this is not that this is sci-fi but no. it's, it's a it's a different <laughs> yeah, it's, it's different to what you're it's used culturally to. different yeah. right and I get to kind of see things different perspective and kind of broaden my my mind so right I enjoyed it. Okay, I it. nice. And eight and a All right. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, hey, people, let us know what you think about Heartstopper season two. We'd love to hear you on the comments somewhere. Yeah. We are watching them avidly. Um, let us know how you like the live reaction. That's getting some good views there. So, yeah, after you hear this, you know, That's go back and check comments. that out maybe. See what yeah. you think. Mm -hmm. We might do some more of those in the future. Yep. So, as always, look for us wherever you can find anything on the internet, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> unofficially opinionated you know youtube instagram uh threads uh, tiktok all the fun stuff uh podcast apps we're on apple Podcasts, spotify all that good stuff so give us a like subscribe give us a review give us a comment uh we love it all and thanks for listening oh and always thanks to tim who is our graphic designer thanks to nate hard work editing as we get more and more content yep Every time I say that I'm going to help, and then I don't, and, and so I suck good. for that, but we'll get there. Uh, <laughs> thanks to Jaden Moore for our music, and uh, I've been your host, Christian, yep. with Nate, and we'll see you next time. Yes. Ciao. Bye-bye.